So this is the first step that you're wanting to know before you can start using your Saker mini table saw. So this is the multifunctional one. Um, I bought the whole set, uh, the extended set. And uh, first thing you need to do is, of course, you need to install the blades. So the blades are not installed in um, the, the unit does not come with Phillips screwdriver. So make sure you have a Phillips screwdriver so you can unscrew. So your first step is to unscrew the top. The instructions in the brochure is um, incorrect because they're trying to get you to take the blade off, put the blade off from the bottom, which you can't do. So that's why I've um, done this video for you and for me as well. So I don't forget doing it. So you open the top, uh, the top of the table saw. And after that, you go to this uh, screw and saw blade clamp so this is where the saw blade will go so you have to loosen that um you have to use the two allen wrench that's um, included with your purchase so one holds the top because it does not loosen without it and then the other one loosens the the screw so once that screw is loose loose you take it off and make sure um you put you set aside all the four small screws and there's one um bigger screw for of course the blade the blade clamp so once it's done find the blade that you want to use so right now i'm just using one bl i'm i'm choosing this blade only just for this installation um make sure the you look at the direction of the blade as well so i made sure um that the face of the blade with the writing on it the label is facing outwards so this is what i was talking about um because there are four other screws available so i had made a mistake of using the smaller screw so it does not work so you want to make sure you have that one bigger screw for the blade clamp so here's the face of the uh, saw blade which you want to be uh, installing face up and then there's the blade clamp and you will be using the the correct screw which is i'm going to show you how it um a, how you like just screw it back so just place the blade clamp back in and then now you can use the allen wrench to tighten the screw for the blade clamp because this is the most important part you don't want the blade to be loose and this is the first step as well so there's the Allen wrench. Um, I didn't use the smaller one this time. Um, I will see how it is when I start turning it on. But for this video, this is just for you to be able to see step by step how that blade, the saw blade, is being installed. So I did make sure that it's tight. And um, just be careful. The blade is really, really sharp. And then as soon as you know that it's tight enough, yeah, don't you don't have to like really over tighten it to break it. Um, then you will then go back and of course in reinstall the table, the top. So the top, you, you're not gonna get um be mistaken in um installing it back because you know it doesn't install on another direction it's um it fits you know that you have uh put the ta the top correctly because the screw holes are gonna fit like are be are gonna be in place 
So make sure you set aside the, those four little screws and then screw it back. I this for this one I had again the the order the item that you ordered does not come with a Phillips screwdriver. So make sure you have that set aside so you can tighten. So you tighten all the four screws. See, that's, that's the only one that came with it. It's, it's not like the Phillips screwdriver. So it's just going to fit into place. And again, this table saw is like just, it's mini. So if you see that, it's like two um, iPhones all together. And I'm not turning it on yet. I'm just showing you um, where to plug that power cord. Also, this is the saw blade lift. So there's a saw blade lift. If you put the hex on that, oh, the wrench, sorry. If you put the wrench on that hole there, you can actually turn it so you can adjust the saw blade, the, the lift. So it can lift up or down, which is very cool. And it's going to be very, um, it's going to help with whatever woodworking you have. Or whichever it is that you're working on so that's just how the lift works and then um, I'm just gonna show you just one more thing for this uh, the angle ruler the angle ruler installation is very fast all you need to do is just find that slot there and then just insert it you don't have you don't need any tool to insert it it just goes on um, so you can use it when you start working so this is it for now, it's just the blade, the angle ruler installation.